Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Truck and I'm with Kent with MrTruck.com and we have a question for you. What if you have a trailer that weighs around 11,000 pounds and you want to tow it? And you tow it with two trucks, the brand new Ford F-150 2018 and the other one is the XD Titan gas engine and one is a traditional half ton, the other one is that in-between truck that's like a heavy duty half ton. What would you think the winner would be? I'm not gonna lie to you, this V8 is one of my favorite V8s that's currently being built. It's a 5.6 liter that puts out 390 horsepower and 394 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to a seven-speed automatic transmission that powers the rear wheels. This is a four-wheel drive truck. And other than the frame, it's a half ton. Is this your first one? First way. Is this for the DMV? No, it's a company called Fast Lane Truck. This is our trader tip brought to you by CM Traders. Now we have our loads you see in the water totes and barrels. We're trying to keep the trader level. We've got the weight distributing set where we want. We're a little higher than 10% tongue weight, which is kind of like what I want. I think that gives you better stability. We're trying to use all the axles of the truck and trader to hold the load, brakes, bearings, suspension. So we've got this thing weighed up to 10,800. This is a 20 foot trader, eight feet wide. Great trader, we use it to haul vehicles now in also, but yeah. Yeah, this is a Super Ike. This is the Super Ike. Super Ike. So we're actually doing the downhill run now, and this thing only did two brake events, and it's because Super Ike, I can do whatever I want. So that's what I did. I manually shifted it. We got out of the tunnel. I had to brake it twice, and then I finally got enough RPMs in there where I could downshift to like third and then the second. Uh, and, it, and like you were saying, 6,000 RPM, it was It was screaming. Up. But we weren't redlined, and it, that's perfectly fine. It cools everything off having those RPMs. Yeah, the engine temp and everything was yeah. stayed rock solid. And it held. It held it at 50, 55, low 60. We got cleared down to 45 just using the uh, manual shift. And that's how we, you, you folks should probably drive this. Okay, with our test trader on this Nissan Titan XD, we're actually using our favorite hitch, Gen Y hitch. And it uses weight distributing hitch. So we're keeping level, keeping the weight on all the axles of the truck and the trailer. And sway control, which is what I love. set or boost set and we are set and we're trying to hold 60 miles an hour so uh with super ike you are able to use the uh, you know change gears if you want and find right. the optimum running speed and everything else that you need to get up the hill let's talk about this nissan titan xd because the xd is a weird fish it is an in-between fish an in-between fish and they've made they've drilled it into our heads that this is an in-between truck but Mr. Truck and I agree that this is basically a half ton truck with a little bit more capacity. Right? But I think it's really a heavy duty half ton, so I would place it against the half tons. Now we're measuring the squat of this Titan XD with our test trailer that's actually weighted to 10,800. And we took the weight distributing bars off, so you know it's just the squat of the truck, not the help of the of the hitch. And it's three inches, which doesn't surprise me. That's about what it squatted was three inches. And this, this is shifting gears all by on sound. I'm not even trying to manually shift it. I may have to because it keeps losing RPM and dropping, so I may yeah, try to well, shift it. Yeah, well, maybe hold it down in a lower gear and just let it scream a little bit. And see, also on this, if I can let off the gas and give it the gas, see, down shift. Immediately down We couldn't do that in a normal light gauntlet. The right. super, I can do that. So I can control it with my throttle and with the manual shifter. Might be so able to make up a little bit of that yeah. time because we've been dropping down to about 50 miles per hour. Um, that holds 26 gallons gas. Uh, the truck's overall weight is 6,361 pounds. Um, just so you guys know that the V8 diesel that you can get for this, the Cummins, is yeah. much heavier and it makes the truck a much heavier vehicle. And while you gain in towing, you lose in payload. So. It's a give and take. Did you hear that beep? That means I did not have enough RPM to downshift again, which I think is cool. It tells you that's why you can't downshift manually because it would redline over redlines. And nine minutes, 10 seconds. And we're holding right at three miles to the gallon. Three miles, okay, well that's not so bad. Three MPG. That's probably the average number of the gas engine size. Yeah, I think so, it's pretty close. The bars are off. 
Why are we making you do all the work? Exactly, it's a good point. You're superhuman. Yes. This is the real hitch. This is the kind you don't bend. Okay. Holy cow, that was just perfect. This engine puts out 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. And that's coming from a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. And it has a 10-speed automatic transmission. And if you've been watching our videos, you've seen this baby race a Raptor with some very interesting results. You gotta jump on me. And Roman was at sleep at the wheel, I guess. Another break event. It says it's nine. That's what it would be. That's what it has to be. Nine so, break events. So we've had a couple surprising um, things happen while we were going downhill with this vehicle. First of all, uh, we expected it to have a nicer ride, and it's not great. It's being bounced around quite a bit by the trailer. Right, and that's the difference between this and the XD Titan we just drove. This is doing like a porpoise teeter totter thing where it's diving, the trailer's going down and up. We got a weight distributing hitch on here pretty tight. Yeah. And so we are, you know, we only changed it by a half inch on the squat, but we've got good sway control from the hitch when we've got a level trailer. But this truck, it's just like it's, you know, as much as we like lightweight for a lot of reasons, fuel mileage and all that, it doesn't help your control. Now our other test with our test trailer we're doing with this Ford F-150 on the Cargo Mate CM trailer is natural squat. We drove it around in a circle to make sure that with the spring arms off, the weight distributing hitch. So this is actually what the spring's capacity does. And it's actually squatting four inches. But four inches is a lot. It surprises me, but I knew it'd be a little more. Launch all missiles. That is one thing about this EcoBoost. It does compensate for some of the other issues. This thing is a mad dog on a leash. Yeah, these EcoBoosts are both a bunch of NASCARs. They flat out fly. See, we're at 60 and doing nothing. That was, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'm in fourth gear and doing 60. And I'm half throttle. Look at that, I'm 3,500 RPMs. It's, it's got so much more to give. This thing is super light. 4,917 pounds. Under 5,000 pounds for a rather large half-ton pickup truck. Four-wheel drive pickup truck, I should say. Yeah, you're finally letting me go full throttle on this little strip here. All right, so you're, you're wide open I'm throttle? Back, yeah, and I'm back, well, not now, just that one little stretch there. All right, guys, I've been going over this, trying to figure out exactly how these things work. And the reason why, thank goodness for this, because there's like five steps. This one here, see, that up, and then hold it down, and voila, the mirrors close. Then you push it this way, and they open, right? Okay, and then to adjust them inward, and then outward, okay. Now that's easy enough but you have to make sure this is off if you want to adjust the mirrors. Now I'm able to adjust the regular mirrors once I choose my side. There has got to be an easier way to do this. We are coming up to a, yep. a clog that I can't help. No, we've been flying up this hill anyway, but uh, I'm gonna stop it right about here. This is about approximate, would you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Seven minutes and 57 seconds. What's our MPG? We're at three, so we're just what the XD Titan did. I'll be damned. Gas so engine, this thing engine. is over a minute faster up the hill and it gets the same mileage as the XD. Yeah. But to the XD's credit, that thing felt so much more comfortable towing a heavy load. We're sort of at an impasse right now because, okay, with the Ford, we have a much more powerful unit that's pulling. My God, it just tugs at the leash. The Nissan Titan is much slower up the hill, but going down the hill, the brakes and the downhill shifting, much better. Going up and down this hill with both these trucks, the Titan wins it. The Titan was controllable down here. The brakes were better. It's, we braked less often. I could manually shift it. Going up the hill, yeah, the Ford is a race car. It's NASCAR. But the whole time, the truck and trailer were doing porpoise. We were teeter-tottering. So it felt much safer in the Titan. And you know, and that's part of the deal. I think 
when you're towing a lot, you want to go with the three-quarter ton. When you're towing that kind of weight, 12,000, 13,000 pounds, that's, that three-quarter ton will help you. But if you're towing not as often, you know, the weekend thing occasionally, the half ton's fine when you're up there at that 11, 12,000 pound range. And stay tuned. In the near future, we're going to be doing this type of stuff again and again. For the Fast Lane Truck, this is Nathan Adlin and Cam with MrTruck.com. Stay tuned for more surprises. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right.